Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson of 3D drawing for model railway. Um, I was asked on Facebook a question about how you draw on a curved surface. Um, so I've, to, to be able to show you this, um, I'm going to essentially draw these rain strips. Um, just, just as an example of how you'd be able to do it, because it's not as straightforward as just uh, drawing on a normal flat surface. Okay, so let's show you how we draw on a curved surface. Um, Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, because I want it to be symmetrical, I'm going to just roll the history back to before the mirrors that we've put in here. So we were just working on the same quarter here. Okay, and rotate it around. So the way to be able to draw on this curved surface is you have to have an offset plane because you can't create a sketch on that curved surface. It just won't allow you to do it. You can do all the flat faces, but the curved ones you can't do. So we go to construct offset plane. I'm going to draw the offset plane from the bottom edge. I'm going to show you how what, what effect would happen if you were to have offset plane on the outside of the surface that you're trying to draw off of. So if we put it there to start with, okay, and we'll rotate to the top so we can draw on it. So if we create a sketch now to that offset plane, we're going to initially start by just drawing a, a little line here that's one millimeter tall. And I'm going to use my coincidence constraints to snap that to the edge of the, or the middle of the coach. Then I'm going to use my spline point to create a curve rain strip effect. And I'm going to change the handles just so they've got a bit of a curve on them. And I will use the offset tool to create one that's exactly the same, one millimeter further away. And then back into the sketch, edit it, and create a line there to there, and there to there to close it. Okay, so if I was to rotate this round now so we can see what's happening, if I now just try and do an extrude, and I drag that downwards and tell it to join, you can see what's happening as I drag it down. What I'm getting is a thin wedge here and a thick wedge at the other end. Now obviously if you were to move the offset plane down slightly you can make this the height that you wanted but you'd still end up with this fat side on this end. And the, the top surface stays flat rather than curving downwards with the body. Um, so what we have to do is have the offset plane inside the surface that we're trying to draw from. So if we rotate this round so we can see what I mean. If I come down to the offset plane sketch offset plane edit feature and I drag that if I put that sketch inside the body that we're working off now and then rotate upwards again I can then see the plane here to, to select it I hold down that left mouse button scroll down to profile and then click on extrude and if I was to just extrude this upwards and tell it to join sorry back to that tell it to join I'm going to have the same issue there I'm going to have it flat all the way across but if I was to change the start point to the object and select that face cancel that and then try to select and sketch again so if I select sketch Bit of a mess of this day. Come down to sketch. Let's get it, get it highlighted. Here. There it is. Okay, so if I hold that down, click the profile, and then extrude. If I change the start profile to object, I can then drag it upwards, and you can see now what's happened is I've now got the same thickness all the way along, and it curves as the roof curves. It curves and follows it. So I'm then getting that curved effect that we're looking for for a rain strip. Or maybe you had a tumble home on a coach, you're trying to put a doorway in it. Um, or this framing that we've drawn here, you could put that on a curved surface. Um, I hope that's answered the questions. If, if you need any more questions answering, please leave a comment below. Uh, press the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.